convert your beta FBB TX02 to either D16 or D8 protocol for free scan. So you have in your box, you open it up, and it's a cool little cheap controller that's actually a lot better than the other cheap controllers uh, that I've used at least. Uh, if you didn't know, to bind, uh, you press and hold this button and power it on and it makes a Darth Vader sound. Just so you know, if you didn't know. And then of course you have to, uh, you do that after you plug in your, uh, your quadcopter and hold the bind button, then you turn this on holding that. That's how you bind it. But you might find you can't bind it. So if that's the case, you probably have the wrong protocol. Uh, these are D16 and I need them to be D8 to work with the quadcopters that we got. So uh, in the video there will be a description to the links if you want to buy it to get it. But basically you go in here, you download this King Kong update tools. Uh, and you'll uh, ask to run it. Windows isn't going to want to run it. It's going to think it's going to destroy your computer, but it's not. Uh, it'll pull up a little app that looks like uh, this. As a matter of fact, I'll just pull it up again here. Downloads. I'll open that. Oh. Okay. And you might have to run it as administrator. Pull up this and it'll say no device, no files. So you'll notice if I plug this in, don't turn it on and plug it in, just plug it in. It should say comms in a number, and mine's 23. Okay, if it doesn't connect, you need to download the drivers. You can click this question mark here at the bottom, and it says click here to install the drivers. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do it. Okay, next you need to load the file. Well, the file you can find, I'll give you the link, but if you go back here to this tiny TX thing, close out of that you'll see uh, these files here. So you can go right down here, there's the releases. It says Free Sky D8 uh, uh, release, so I click here. And it has the D8 version, which you just download and unzip that folder. And this one, the D16 version, which you download and unzip it. And wherever you unzip that, you can go. So mine's under my downloads folder. Uh, I've got, you can see right here, go and zoom in. Oops. I got right here the uh, D8, which I want to switch it to. Here's the D16 if it's the other way around. Click here. It's this weird LDAFW, which I've never even seen that file type before. And it says good. Okay, so now you see this has two buttons at the top. I'm going to hold those two buttons down and I'm going to turn it on. And you'll see these lights go crazy. And I can let go. And you see it updating on the screen. Boom, you're done, you've switched it. So, pretty easy way to switch from D8 to D16 uh, for just a little cheap controller. Uh, it's really convenient to be able to do that. So, uh, I really recommend this controller if you're just getting into the hobby. Now, if you're advanced, I do not recommend. I recommend like one of the better Free Sky controllers. All right, thank you.